everybody welcome back it's Anna I'm up rather late this evening actually it's Monday morning now not real late about 1 a.m. but anyways I'm going to do a video it's a pre-recorded sales video that I do every Monday and release um, at 12 p.m. Eastern time typically what I have in there are, are items I got in lots and I have an abundance and they're not items I'm, I'm going into the sale or items that have been available during the sale but have not sold. They come at a cheaper price typically on these days. So um, I'm going to show jewelry starting at $10 and going up to $50 at the highest. The I start with the higher items. If you see anything you're interested in purchasing, you're welcome to contact me at vintagejewelrygalore.com and we can I can give you a price and see if you're interested. If you're new here, don't hesitate to contact me. Just subscribe and contact me. You know, let me know if there's something you'd like that you'd like to get. I use PayPal invoicing, which is secure for you as well as for me and holds accountability to where we have a record of what has been sold. So it's the best way for both of us. Um, okay, so I'm going to get started. I'm going to start with the $50 items. Eh, let me mention before I get started with that. Then again, the next time I will be up is, I, it'll be, um, unless I get a jewelry bag tomorrow, I may open that up Tuesday, but I'll be back Wednesday showing a jewelry haul, and then Friday I come back and do another one, then I come on live Saturday at 2 p.m. Eastern time and have my sale. Hopefully I can find some more designer pieces. I've been coming to look at Christian Dior, Givenchy, um, some fabulous Alexis Batar last time, checked the last two auctions out. I had some amazing things. These two were part of the two of the pieces that did not sell. I'm offering them $25 cheaper than what they were originally. They go separate. This is the Swarovski Sensation, one of the Sensation sets. It is a blue crystal surrounded by um, clear crystals. I'm off screen, aren't I? And, and it looks dark to me. And then you have larger, you know, the same size as this one. In all um, of a larger crystal and then small surrounding rhodium plated. It's rhodium plated, it's swan sign. Their jewelry is rhodium plated or gold plated, and this is a rhodium plated piece. It's beautiful, comes with a pair of earrings as well. I'm selling it, it's $50. Go check it out. The Swarovski Sensation set. This is a steal of a deal. Go check it out, 50 bucks for both pieces. Let me measure it for you because I don't have it in front of me. Cap to remember. I just had it at my sale on Saturday. It's like one and a quarter inches on the beautiful earrings that match. Again, swan sign, rhodium plated. And they also have a crystal back there too on her jewelry. It's amazing. This is a sensation set. Sorry if I was just off screen. Beautiful matching set. Let me measure the necklace. I think the pendant's one and three quarter inches. That's off memory from last night. Yes. And the chain has an extender on it. It's pretty cute. Let me show it. Somebody may not have seen it. 15 of a one and one half inch extender. Basically, look how cute. It's a swan with crystals in it. Already plated. And then we have, that's the other side. It's swan signed here too. It is a lobster claw clasp. Let me make sure that measurement was right. That sounded like it's very small. 16 inches with the one and a half to one and three quarters. Um, we'll say one and a half. That's 50 bucks if anybody's interested. This is as well. This is a 68 inch rose cut ruby red you know, faceted rose cut facets. Um, strung on a beautiful silk. 68 inches. This is $50. This is vintage. I believe it's Art Deco. Um, by researching you know, similar pieces. Okay, so that's fifty dollars too. Sixty-eight inches rose cut uh, ruby red. Beautiful, actually, it's a very beautiful, nice dark red color. Okay, that's it for that. So then for twenty, let me take that off. I'm gonna need the neck. That's listen to it. You can tell it's fabulous. Um, this is an Italian bead necklace. I believe the findings are sterling. This is twenty. I'm way off because the camera's on the opposite side. Sorry, y'all. This is 20. So you have multiple types of beads. You have, um, we have Miller Fury. Uh, there are Chevron beads, multiple Italian beads. Um, 
way off. I should turn my camera around. I'm going to turn this. I'll be back. All right, I'm back to see if it's any better. It is definitely, okay. Nice, lots of beads, Italian beads, all glass. I don't think there's any clay on here. Um, I'll hang it up and show it again. I'm gonna close it. Uh, you can squeeze this thing closed. I do believe it's sterling. I didn't test it. Um, it's 22 inches and it's multiple types of glass, Italian glass, this red beads, it was different. This is more than one layer of um, glass there with that. You have the chevron beads, different uh, shapes. I do think these are more modern than the necklace. I beads of chevron and I show, but still nice. Miller Fury and 22 inches. It's 20 bucks for that. Um, this is onyx and pearls. We do have a, um, a little fading on the clasp. I believe it was gold plated. Um, but it's two, three strands braided. Of those are um, testing a stone, so I believe it's onyx. And then you have the Baruki rice pearls. It's all twisted. It's three strands braided. It's pearls, onyx, and gold tone balls that were, um, okay. Measuring total of 28 inches. It's 14 inch drop, 28 inches around the neck. That would be good for layering for somebody that does that. That layer to jewelry. Um, I'm gonna be up here. Don't mind the way that's off center. I'm not perfect. <laughs> Can't help it. All right, that's 20. This is nice. Look, Miller Fury bead. Dichroic glass. It looks Miller Fury kind of, but cool, isn't it? Look, that's glass. Then you have these really, this is 22. He's really cool. Multiple color of cat's eye beads. And there's smaller ones that are different colors too. Look, surrounding. It's cool. It has a... Um, uh, lobster claw clasp and these little tubes are glass as well. This is 20 bucks. It's cool. It is a uh, total drop of 10 and a half. It's a 19 inch chain. It's all glass, including the tubes. I think these little, look, they look cool. Little cat's eye things are adorable, tiny. And you have these bigger ones with the stones. Okay, that's 20. I have earrings. They're all testing a stone. Okay, well, I know these are. I don't know what the findings are at the end. I didn't test Jersey. If they hole out. I don't know why. This is all 20. Um, these have a nice big um, hook on them. These are testing a stone. I don't know what that is. Okay, maybe hematite? Or... Wait. I don't know. It's testing a stone. It's black and sheeny. Okay, it has a sheen to it. It's not real heavy, surprisingly, considering how big they are, but it's not real late either. Those are in there. They're stones. Somebody can experiment if you want. You're getting four pairs and a bracelet, and then these test a stone. I don't know what they are, okay? Maybe some kind of crystals. I don't know the metal. Um, and then this. I don't know. I think it's this turquoise. It's a little beat up. It looks polished if it is... Um, yeah, you know, it when it come out sheeny like that. Pair of earrings, I don't know. And then this. This is an agate bracelet. It could use a restretch and um black onyx. Okay, beads. If anybody wants that for 20, you get four pairs of earrings or five. Um, okay, 15. This is a that is embroidery under there. I think it's pretty cool. It's a bracelet. It's pretty big. Let me measure it for you. And I'll show it back. Like these this part here. Um is an inch and a half like the amount this way and then going across it's an average size yeah, it's a little bigger than average like two and three quarters so it'll fit a bigger wrist look i have a lot of room in there okay that's 15. i'm on to 15 dollars now um this is a tourist piece i believe from 1970s it's not sterling, okay, it looks like it. I guess maybe it's like a nickel or whatever it gets like that. I don't really know what it is, honestly. It is silver tone, vintage barrel clasp, heshi beads, and turquoise. It kind of looks to Ben, actually. I know it's not, but <laughs> then these shells, the turquoise shells. None of it's sterling. It's double-stranded, and the heshi, I mean, it's, it's a vintage necklace. It's 15 bucks. 
if anybody wants it. Um, it measures a 23 inch on the shortest around the neck and 13 in length total. But you know what I mean? Like um, where it's gonna fit around the neck is 26 inches. Cool. I mean, I have it doubled up because it's very long, but here. It, this, I believe, is a tourist piece from that time period. It's still Native American jewelry, <laughs> but not like more expensive. Okay, so that's 15. Um, this is, uh, these are Mrs. These are for May. They say MRS, like for somebody who just got married. These are sterling silver with gold over them and MRS for Mrs. It's kind of cool. Little pair of stearings. They're 15. They're for May. Um, this is sterling silver and glass. And it's a vintage ring. It's 15 if anybody wants it. It's six and three quarter inches. It's hard for me to see on the side from showing you. Okay. Six and three quarter inches. You have brushed like metal there, kind of looks like that diamond ink type thing, but I it's not, it's just metal. And then we have um glass in it honestly from like far away and if a picture it looked like diamonds okay but it's not I've tested it it's definitely glass it could use a cleaning um it's a vintage ring six and three quarters let me show you the details I think it's signed sterling back here it's in pretty good shape could use a cleaning definitely a cleaning sterling silver and a U I don't know what that means, but it's definitely a vintage ring. Look at the design of it. And you go under. It has openings that probably, like, it's glass cubic zirconians or something. Probably very lovely cleaned up. But it's 15 bucks if anybody wants it. It's sterling silver and, yeah, this, this one's pretty amazing. Look at this. That's one I've kept for a while. I don't keep a whole lot for that long, and this is... That's a sage, and I think it's beautiful. It's opal. And this one is um, moonstone and so forth. This is a magnificent Nikki Butler. I gave my daughter one for Christmas. Okay, I'm supposed to be selling stuff, right? Let me get back to it. This is amazing. I love it. My daughter is one not exactly round, kind of close to that. Okay, the oldest daughter. I have a. I have three children, if you're new here. I have and a baby grandson I take care of. He's fantastic. These are stone soda light or something. <laughs> and glass or crystal. We'll call it uh looks like vitro glass, okay. Stone. I don't know if it's silver. I sterling, I don't think. This is a stretch bracelet. This is for fifteen dollar set. I didn't test the metal on the earrings either, I'm sorry. Um, but vitreo glass and uh soda light earrings and bracelet for 15 I think it's nice this is agate it's actually quite amazing a piece of agate look at it 18 karat gold plated chain nice chain it is gold plated 18 karat okay um this is a beautiful piece of agate if you didn't like what it's on you could tear it out of here and do something with it it's very nice the pattern um it's the way it's cut too it is uh 15 bucks for this necklace let me tell you how long it is I have everything in order. Hopefully, I remember. <laughs> no, I will. I have pretty good memory, actually. So this is uh, uh, 21 inches around the neck. The pendant is 2 inches, I think. The big agate. Yeah. It's nice. It's a nice piece. Okay, um, that's 15. Uh, I'll start on the 10s. There's a lot of 10s. Okay, these are freshwater culture pearls. It's one of these. This is 10 bucks. I'm starting on this. is one of those magnet uh, cobalt blue glass. It's really long. You can make a bracelet out of it or a necklace or just play with it. You have freshwater culture pearls, cobalt blue, bicones, glass. That is glass to bicones. And freshwater culture pearls and magnets that look like hematite. That's ten dollars. These two are ten bucks. These are cool. I didn't see any makers marks on them. They came out of the jewelry box. They're pretty. Wait, does it say something? These are mid-century. These are vintage. That's my show. Ten bucks for the both of them. Um, well, I didn't clean them or anything. I think they look all right. They're pins. Ten dollars for those. They're vintage. 
I don't know. <laughs> I said, I don't know. This says guilt with gold in the back. It says Victorian, but you can see a little bit. It needs cleaned with some ketchup or vinegar. Cleaned up a little bit. Um, it's a Victorian dress clip. Look, you can see where it's guilt with gold. You see that back there? That looks like it was guilt with gold brass. And it needs cleaned up. It'll clean up. A little bit of vinegar and ketchup. It's nice, about two inches. It's ten bucks. This is a nice, this is a Monet. I thought it was going to be like a Trafari or something. Is that's what it looks like? This is mid century Monet brushed gold tone and a shiny gold tone signed Monet back there. This is about two inch. Let's see if I'm right. It's two and a half inches from end to end, from hair to hair. That's ten bucks, Monet. This is um, this is cute. This is a Madame Butterfly Modern Cloisonne. Okay, I believe it is because of that, and it looks like this belongs on her. Okay, lobster claw clasp. A name of is Madame Butterfly, and black faceted beads and beautiful little pieces. It's ten. It's pretty cute. Let me measure it. Um, around the neck, you have seventeen inches total drop of eleven. You have a one inch extender. It's pretty cool for 10 bucks. It's beautiful actually, a little wine necklace would look very nice. Um, and there's the back. It's costume. This is um, a Venturine, I believe, and I don't know what that is. I don't think the findings are sterling. It's not sterling on silk. It's $10. It's not knotted in between. It is 16 inches around the neck and for the pendant, we have um, the piece of stone in the middle. It was an inch and a half. You had one that I don't know what it is. I see a small rhinestone. I hope it didn't fall out of <laughs> That's terrible. When there's a lot of jewelry around, sometimes it's hard to know. That's that. That's $10. Let me make sure it didn't fall out of this ring. No, the ring ones. I don't know. It could be from anywhere. Okay. Oh, look. But this is stone. Adventuring, and I don't know what that is like. I think it's awfully dark in here. Okay, it is late at night. I have the light on. This is a memory bracelet. It's beautiful. Look, you have it. Little hangs at the end. Faceted, beautiful um, glass that is AB or vitriol. And look at that one. It's nice. There's squares. Um, it's a nice bracelet. It's 10 bucks. That's all glass. And it has bicones and squares, multiple shapes like these blues are squares and beautiful for ten dollars, really. I think can't beat it, really. Okay, let me <laughs> let me show you these. This is a clumpy, not a clump, but just uh some ten dollar little necklaces. This says you shine on me like like moon like the sun or the moon. Which one does it say? It says you shine on me like moon, I think. Hold on, is it sun? Like sun. Okay, it looks like a moon. That's why I said that. It says you shine on me like sun. There is that some kind of stone. I don't know what. I don't think it's diamond. Okay. But it's going up towards like topaz and so forth. But the, let me give you a measurement. It's a thin, it's sterling silver. The chain's sterling as well. There is some kind of little stone in the middle. 17 inches around the neck. This is an inch approximately. It's a moon and has that little stone in it and it has to say and you shine on me like sun and there it is it's dainty i think it's nice it's ten dollars can't really that's that's pretty good price i'm going to hang them on there as they come out all right um these are all gold filled this one's pretty amazing look the pendant i think this chain on this one's gold plated it per my memory of reading um that's a beautiful um there's an, an opal there Like it looks dark. It's disturbing. Um, okay. I hope it's not too bad. That is an, an opal and it's gold filled dependent. It's vintage. The chain is gold plated. This is gold filled and a real opal. It is a um a solid slab of opal. It's not covered with anything in front or the back. Um, this is a dainty, beautiful little gold filled. Did I measure that? It's about the same length as I see. It's like an 18, 20 inch necklace actually on that one, probably your 18 on a small opal. Um, gold plated 
gold filled pendant with the little opal. This one is 16. It's pretty, it's dainty. Um, it's a gold filled chain and heart. It looks real. It's not, it's gold filled. Um, I feel like my dark, like my lighting is really bad. I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting tired. I start feeling erotic. I don't know if I offered this. It's a gold filled cross. I know I showed it. Gold filled cross with diamond cut. Um, it's gold filled and so is the chain. And it's about 18 inches as well. It's a nice uh, cross. I don't know if I ever offered it yet. I even can't remember. It's still starting to run together, guys. I don't know. It's 10 bucks, so it's nice if... You want to give a cross to a child or something, that's a good place to start. Those are 10. Okay, this is not Sterling Findings. This is Rose Quartz. This is about 20 inches. Rose Quartz Pendants, $10 today. Um, This is nice, actually. I don't know if I'm going to be able to show the shine. The chain's gold tone. I don't know if it's gold plated or not. It doesn't have marking on it. You have Labradorite. See the flash there in the corner? Uh, it's got a jasper and a um, tiger eye. I don't know if you can see through it too. Okay, it's a nice pendant. It's about an inch and a half. Leverage right up top, tiger eye in the middle, and jasper there. And it's this gold chain, gold plated. It doesn't stick to a magnet, but it's not marked. I didn't test it. Um, the clasp definitely is not gold. On something like a real gold chain, I think it's not real common to find a clasp that's not gold. You will say, I mean, at least good jewelry anyways. Um, But yeah, in silver, you will sometimes on handmade pieces and so forth. And gold maybe, I don't know about that though with gold. Okay, um, 16 inches, you could I guess if it was handmade, but that one's not. 16 inches of fluorite, beautiful. It's 10 bucks if anybody's interested in that. It is not Sterling Findings. Um, this is a, look, you've got, I don't know what's going on with it. I don't know if it's supposed to be joined up in the back and be a small choker and something fell off or something. If it was a double necklace, you see, it's 10 bucks if somebody else can play around with it. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful AB necklace. It could be worn as a long, like a long necklace, but it's beautiful. Vintage, I think. Yeah. Glass looks older. It comes in, look, you had it in the 80s too, because of Madonna, really, honestly. But that's 10 bucks if anybody wants it. This is nice. This is a Laguna um, AB glass crystal in the center and faux pearls. Um, on the ends, is 10 bucks. You're missing two on this one, I think, on the other one. All of them are there. Rhinestone chain. It's short. It's a, meant to be worn as a choker. Um, it's a 14 inch necklace. This is vintage. This is probably like 1960s. It has a J hook and it is marked Laguna on the back of it. Look, it's in, like back there. It says Laguna. It's a pretty little choker. It'll fit more like that on your neck. Okay, this is a tiny neck. That's 10 bucks. I think it's pretty. Sorry, it's real late and I'm starting. Oh my God, I'm getting tired. Okay, I'm almost done. Thank you so much for watching my video if you've gotten this far. Um, rose quartz and... Uh, Gold plating, I think. It looks like real, some of it, but it just gets me. It's not sticking to a magnet. It's gold plated. And a nice little rose quartz piece. That's about 18 inches. It's $10. I think it's cute for that little tassel. This is a costume piece. Um, this is faux turquoise and faux coral. It's like S F E R A. It's a, not a very. It's a pretty. It's it's a costume jewelry company. Sixteen inches with a three inch extender. It's a cool necklace. It's ten bucks. If anybody likes it, it's faux crystal. I mean faux turquoise and faux um, coral, and it's brass finish. Okay, that is not real brass. It's it's faux. The brass is a brass finish. It's fake turquoise and fake um. Coral. It's cool though. It's a nice necklace actually for 10 bucks. If you're into that kind of thing, why not? You can wear it and if something happens to it, it doesn't matter. Um, I think it's pretty cool. If you had something that matched it. I have these three little pins. Um, a little heel with the rhinestone. These have those little back pieces in the back. A little woman's shoe. Cute. These are three for 10. A cute little purse with the faux pearl. Same type of thing. It's cute. Nice little purse. 
and then this lamp with a pearl, faux pearl. There's all three of them. I think they're cute. They're 10. I showed these at my sale. These have our Monet been converted into Paris earrings. These are 1970s. I don't know if it's colors in the book, but these earrings were. These are remind me of like a dog shag, don't they? Denim and uh, dark and light blue. They're clip and they used to be clips. These are Monet. They've been turned into Paris earrings. They're 10. They're cool, actually. I think these two are glass. If they're stone, they went up a little over stone, but I don't trust it 100%. And this definitely looks dyed. But anyways, there's two of these necklaces, and they fit perfectly together, and they're glass, and I think they're nice. Two for 10 is a good deal. I don't think they're stoned. It's quite possible they, they could be, though. Um, I Like I said, I, I'm, I'm leaning towards glass, okay? I think they're nice still, though. Both of them for 10 and this is gold, heavy gold plating on this, and it's called uh, Saint GLD. That's heavy gold plating. Um, it's an angel with holding a rhinestone, a cherub, with a long boxed gold plated box chain, heavily gold plate. Looks real actually. Long chain. I think it's like thirty two inches. Let me see if I'm right. I'll let you know. It's nice. Even the clasp looks real. No, it's twenty eight. I mean, but it's not signed GLD, and that is a company that makes uh, heavily gold-plated jewelry that looks real. Okay, this is um, this is bright, and I think that's, I mean, it's just a little, there's a little mark on there where it's been scratched off. This is sterling plated. It looks, um, I don't know how old it is. It's a bright and, bright and you know, silver. They're silver-plated, their jewelry. This one could use a white book. This can be worn. It has that piece on it. So like a seven, a seven and a quarter, like to an eight and, and a quarter. I don't think, okay. Well, it's like, it can be worn probably at a seven actually. Look, it's small. All right, it has that little mark on the front. Him. I, I, he's cute. He's got a good weight to him. He's gold plated. Has a red ruby colored eye. It is glass. Definitely, this is a costume brooch. It's a lion. It's figural. It's cool. If you know a Leo, it's a good thing to give them. <laughs> they can hang it somewhere, like in their car. And clown, cool vintage clown. He's got a good weight to him. As well, nice lots of enamel, and he's ten dollars. Kind of creepy looking, ain't he? All right, um, that'll end it. That'll be it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I'll get this up. Um, you should be seeing this at 12 p.m. Eastern time. Join me tomorrow if I open up a jewelry jar or Wednesday. I hope you'll come on and check my videos out. I bring lots of jewelry um, numerous times a week. All right, thank you so much. Have a good day.